I might work for Microsoft and could even be considered an Azure guru. But what if I had to start over? Back when I started learning Azure, I was completely lost. So what did I do? Well, besides staring at my computer screen every night with tears streaming down my face, wondering how anyone could ever manage all this stuff without going insane and having my brain go haywire from the lack of oxygen due to stress-induced hyperventilation. But now, after multiple psychotic episodes, I am a cloud computing guru. But what if I had to start over? Where should you start today and what areas should you focus on and where will this journey end? Well, the one thing you need to know about the cloud right at the beginning is that it is a really big fluffy thing in the sky where people store their data and run their applications. And you might be tempted to ask yourself, which tech should I learn first? Well, that's really the wrong question. The first question you should really be asking is, what is your vision? Now, the difference between those two things really is perspective. Your vision is about taking inventory of all those things inside, like your past experiences, your ambitions for your career, how much time you can commit to learning, and what are you passionate about, and then asking yourself how they all fit together. Another thing you should remember is that the cloud just didn't pop in out of nowhere. It was built based on the technologies of the past. And that's a good thing because that means that the fundamentals of architecture, server management, high availability, networking services, DNS, and security, etc., really are the same. But the way you're going to implement them in the cloud and its scale will be different. There's also a few general categories of technology, like operations, developers, and security. And these can help narrow down your path as you align with your vision. Developers, for example, generally start with learning a language, but don't get too hung up on which language is the best. Listen to what Scott Hanselman had to say about languages. Hi, Scott Hanselman. I'm a programmer and I work at Microsoft. People get way hung up on the details of the programming language and they need to be thinking about the larger systems that the programming languages live within. There will always be more programming languages. There will always be more operating systems. Pick a programming language, learn it, see if it feeds your spirit, see if it makes you happy. Look in the job market in the area that you live in, and if you don't like that one, pick a different one. You'll be okay. And the number one thing you need to know is that you can learn any language and be successful in it. Thanks, Scott. Now, when you're thinking about security, this is where you're focusing on keeping your users or your data safe. Now, I come from the operations side with an infrastructure background. And I've done the stuff on the client device side to servers and data centers and even private clouds. Now, when we think about building things in the cloud, this covers a ton of stuff. On the infrastructure side, there's virtual machines, networks, and storage. And you could spend a lifetime right there. But on the platform side of things, there's stuff like web apps and logic apps and functions, containers and Kubernetes. And on the full solution side, there's things like the Office Suite, Azure AD, monitoring, and DevOps. Or you may want to specialize on something like AI, IoT, security, data services, or architecture. Or even something like Azure Virtual Desktop, which I love because you have to know identity, security, and many of the platform services and infrastructure. So in AVD, you will never be bored. But no matter which area of tech you want to focus on, your real superpower that will help you succeed in your career is not technology at all. It's customer service. <gasps> That's right, it's your people skills. Now, don't throw anything at the screen. I know that IT folks generally aren't known for their good people skills, which is exactly why it can be your superpower. Learning how to work with people and managers and customers and... Wait, did I just say that managers and customers aren't people? Oh well, you'll always have to deal with people, so use that to your advantage and get really good at it. It's going to help you communicate with your boss on why you deserve that promotion. You'll be able to help your customers understand the solution that you have in mind and how it's going to help them and maybe even save them Impressive. some money. And it'll help you when you're working with your teammates, which is never a bad thing. But no matter where your vision takes you, the second thing that you need to know about the cloud is that it is like an onion. Once you start digging in and peeling back the layers, you're going to find more and more interesting things inside. Also keep in mind that competition and innovation are always happening. So you should get really comfortable with change because there will be a lot of it. 
And I think that it's best if you think of yourself as a lifelong learner and not just in the cloud or your career. There is more to life than any of us will ever know or understand. So learn all you can and help others around you. Be thankful and enjoy the ride. And when you need to stay on top of all that latest change, that's what the Azure Academy is here for. So please click that subscribe button and notification bell. Your future self will thank you. So now that your vision has put you on a technology path, you should always keep an eye out for the hottest things. Now I did this a few years ago with Azure Virtual Desktop. I had a lot of experience in remote desktop services, and when I heard that RDS was going to be remade as a cloud service, which was gonna make VDI more accessible as a solution, which meant the potential for customers to adopt it at scale was gonna be huge, and I knew I wanted to be a part of it. So I stopped focusing so heavily on infrastructure and started learning identity, monitoring, security, and some other stuff so that once AVD was out, I was ready to shift my whole focus to it. So ask yourself, what trends are changing the world today and what do you see that's coming soon? And as of right now, crazy as it might sound to some of you, data science jobs have actually been labeled the sexiest job of the 21st century. And there's a lot of research going into artificial intelligence and self-driving cars and medical research. And this is being done all over the world and you could be a part of it. And blockchain is another area that's making a lot of noise. And it's an amazing idea, a transparent fraud protected public ledger that allows you to make instant transactions all over the world. And it's not just about Bitcoin anymore either. Blockchain is being used in healthcare, insurance, real estate, manufacturing, and the financial sector. And don't forget, as long as there is data, there will be those who want to get access to your data, which means cybersecurity will always be in high demand. Some other big ones right now are DevOps engineers, mobile app developers, and of course, network administration and cloud computing. So keep an eye on the tech news and the latest job market trends. And don't forget to pick your head up occasionally and see what problems people are having around you. And don't just shrug your shoulders, Think about how those problems could be solved and how you could get involved in doing it. Now, where exactly will this cloud journey end? Well, in a cloud of smoke and a puff of logic, of course. I mean, there is, after all, Azure Space Services now, so maybe by the time we get to Mars, we'll have like the solar system instead of the cloud, or maybe it'll be the galaxy, I mean, who knows? But like I said at the beginning, even as the Azure expert that I am, I still have a lot to learn and the learning in life really never stops. But as far as your career path goes, maybe it'll be uh, when you retire or you just had enough of this crazy journey and you're looking for a change. It all depends on you and your vision. But since you're still here, at least for now, there's more to learn. And the next thing that you should learn are some of the fundamentals right over there. And happy learning.